My name is The Adipose and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make your own banner for your YouTube channel. Well greetings everyone and welcome back to How To YouTube and today um, we're going to be looking at the front page of your YouTube channel and more specifically the banner here. Now the first thing I'd like you to notice is that there is a few things that are going on here. We've got the banner which is this big um, um, area here with the Adipose TV written, right? We've got your channel icon, which is up here, and I'll be talking about that in the next video. And then we've got a bunch of links down here, and they are all added separately. Um, and you edit um, the, the, the banner and the links by going up here. You'll see there's a little pencil. As long as you're signed in um, and logged in, you should see a little pencil up here that you can click on. It'll say edit links or edit channel art. And if you want to edit any of these links down here, you do that by head clicking edit links. And if you want to edit the banner, you click edit channel art. Art. and it'll then give you just a, a, a normal option um, to upload but here's the thing your YouTube channel um, banner is not the shape that you would expect because depending on whether you are viewing YouTube on a TV or on a mobile device or even on a PC you're gonna see a slightly different size banner and that banner is actually going to be uh, one banner that will work in several different several different sizes let me show you um, this is a brilliant little template here um, from Online Income River. Um, you can find several different templates online, but this one was particularly good. It was because I thought it was the right size. Your banner actually needs to be this big, which is pretty pretty huge. In fact, if I look at the YouTube guidelines here, it's two five six zero by one four four. Oh, you know, it's pretty huge, and you can see a little demonstration of it here as well. But basically, it's going to be your banner needs to be this big. But depending on who is looking at it, they will see different parts of um, this particular banner. So, for for argument's sake, if I was looking at it on a PC or a desktop, you can see here it says desktop max, desktop max. If I was looking at it on a PC, I'm just going to see this little area here, the the big, the kind of strip in the middle. If I was on a tablet then I'm just going to see this darker grey area right here. And if I was on um, a, a far smaller, if it was kind of like, say my internet was kind of shrunk in like that, I might end up even seeing less of the logo and only seeing this kind of uh, very dark area here, which is going to appear on all devices. So the thing is, is what you need to do is design a logo that will actually kind of work for all sizes, but your main um, logo area is in this central area here. So what I suggest you do is you uh, come to the come to the link of this online Income River um, template, um, and I, I've put the link in the description, but you can see me clicking it here, and save this to your computer because we're going to use this as the template for us to make our own. So I'm just going to um, save that um, to my documents, and then what you're going to need is a photo editing program that has layers. Now, if you're lucky enough to own a copy of Photoshop, then that is fantastic. Um, but I actually uh, even no, I actually own a copy of Photoshop through the uh, Creative Cloud, but I actually use um, the uh, Paint.net, which is free. Um, just type Paint.net into Google, um, and um, it's a really nice little photo editing program, and um, it has layers. Now, why layers are so important is because what it means is, is if you know all this stuff already, then just skip ahead a couple of minutes in the video. Um, but what this effectively means is that you can put lots of different things into your um, picture that can be independently moved around so if you just look at this particular banner here or um, here's my kind of Simpsons one here you'll see it looks like one image but actually each of these aspects is on a different layer the tapped out is on one layer the city design text is on one layer this picture of Homer Simpson is on one layer and if you look down here in this little layers box uh, as I kind of scroll up and down you'll see all of these different layers um, and uh, so you can it might be quite hard to see a few in the video but there's a tiny little green bit there so that's my little bit of text Text. that's adipose and that's that's Homer and stuff and why this is useful if I just move some bits around is look I can move this tapped out thing around without actually disturbing the rest of the image image at all so I can I could replace this I could delete it I could change the color I could I can modify etc but it doesn't wreck anything else so I just undo that to put it back um, and what this means is it's going to be a lot easier for you to uh, um, say make a background 
and um, and then make a text on top of that and then put an image on top of that and you can change the order at any point as well um, you see at the moment that Homer Simpson is below that tapped out logo if I move the layer that he is on above the other layer then look um, his arm has just gone in front of it and same so you can constantly be reordering um, things as well so get yourself a program a, a photo editing program that uses layers you'll be making yourself uh, your, your job a lot 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 easier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file open and you can do this in whichever program you're using, you're using and I'm going to open up that template that we downloaded. Um, if you're not sure how you download something, uh, an image like that, you just um, open it up full size, you right click on it, save image as, and stick it to, into somewhere where you know what it is. And uh, whoops, that's the wrong program there. If I then just pull up again, you can see now I've opened up um, this logo, and I'm going to use that as my background to help me work out what I'm going to put on the rest of it. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click Add New Layer which is then going to put um, another layer above so I can this background now is not going to get edited um, while I'm putting stuff on um, on top of it now um, I always think that it looks kind of and this is basically now you start putting things on top of it and so I'm just going to start off by putting just a few little designs um, to show you some ideas I'm just going to start with um, by putting a gradient on here I mean this is this is not a Photoshop tutorial if you want to know how to use this kind of stuff Photoshop you probably need to ask um, you know find some YouTube tutorials or uh, or you know ask ask a teacher or something like that but I'm going to make a little gradient and you might be kind of thinking, well, hang on a minute, now you can't see the template. That's true. So what I can do is I can just bring the, the background there um, above what it, what it was before. Um, and most programs will allow you to then change what's called the opacity, which means the uh, you know, how see-through it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on that template one. I'm going to put it above the background, and then I'm just going to make it almost see-through. But it means I can see now um, where I, 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 I could put everything. Now, so I, then I can start putting in things like text. So, of course, before I do that, I need to make a new layer, put everything you do on a new layer. So let's just um, go pick another color. I'll pick adipose blue. I'll click in there. That's probably going to be a little bit too big. Um, so we'll just go a little bit smaller. And of course, you can always resize, depending on your photo program, you can always resize things. Let's just put the adipose um, TV there, right there. And um, because I, I know how to use this program fairly quickly, I'll just put a little. Um, thing around like that. Now the thing is if I you need to put the logo or your, your kind of text thing right in the middle or at the very least it needs to be right in this central area there because that's going to appear on every single um, device you use and if you're going to put other little characters in there or other little designs in there that's absolutely cool but just be aware that whatever happens people will see this area here and then the area outside is optional so the ideal is to make some sort of image that actually works um, in every situation now if I just show you um, my logo and how I did it, I'll just here's the, here's the template again, I'm just going to make it a bit more transparent. You can see how mine works together. Um, you can see that the, the Adipose TV logo and the three characters are all in the what we're going to call the safe zone which is going to appear on every um, idea. Then this little character far on the right is only going to appear on the desktop but I made sure he's not kind of crossing over so you don't get any kind of weird any other weird bits there. And then all these other four characters and these four characters here are all way above or way below the safe zone so they're only going to appear on the TV. Um, but the background, you'll, notice, you see, you'll see that lovely little gradient there if I just complete that completely transparent, that blue gradient goes across the whole thing so no matter what people are looking at they're going to have some sort of background to, to go with it now there's lots of different ways of doing this I mean you could just make spots and circles and stripes over the whole thing with a logo in the middle you know that would that would look great you could have loads and loads of characters all over the place like in a big jumble um, but the important thing is to make sure if people only see this middle strip then it has to look good um, if you only see that little bit don't put your logo right at the top of this huge thing don't put it right at the bottom put it bang in the middle and then let YouTube do the rest and once you've finished it of course then you go back to where I said onto your YouTube channel um, you click that upload button um, you click your edit and channel art button pull it into there upload it and select it but make sure it is the size that it recommends here recommended channel art size 2560 by 2440 and it there's a max file size of two megabytes as well so you may need to save in a slightly lower quality um, if that's the case hope that's been useful if it has please give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well take care and I'll see you soon bye bye